Hey guys, thank you so much for your patience. I know that I haven't been posting that much on this channel, but I've been so busy, there's been so much happening, but I thought that I owed you a video. Now, I would just like to quickly talk to you about something that's kind of angered me, and that's people's perception of things, people that I know, and their perception of, um, I guess you can say minority groups and also the rights to these minority groups. Now, there was one person who I had a conversation with uh, because he was reading a newspaper article about and Andre Pevich. I'm not too sure about the pronunciation there, but Andre is like this beautiful transgendering um, artist who's a model who models for male and female clothes. Now, he hasn't proclaimed his sexuality. He hasn't proclaimed that he is transgendered. He just likes to present himself as both genders, which is more than okay, and that's perfectly fine. I find him fascinating because of it, because he does it so convincingly. Now, this person um, was reading an article in the newspaper about him and was just saying, because Andre's from Melbourne, he's from like around about an hour drive from where I am, and um, I think that's cool, and I think that's awesome that like we've got this um, local talent that's gone global and gone like to model for the most largest um, brand, uh, brand designer names out there, designer labels. Now, um, this person was just going on about how wrong it was and how disgusting it was for him to be like this, um, I guess you could say like uh, gender queering model and that it was just wrong. Now, unfortunately, um, this person also touts, totes about how he is like so acceptable and so loving of everyone and he's so in touch with the reality and he's like deep and like th thoughtful and everything. And I was just thinking, you're not deep and thoughtful, you're just a douchebag. I mean, like seriously, for someone to go and attack someone because of the way that they um, uh, appear or present themselves to the, um, I guess you can say like to... Uh, professionally, um, for them to be able to just knock down and say that that's not a man. How can they do that? I just was like, well, you know what? In my head, I was like thinking, you know, you just are uncomfortable because you find him attractive. You don't know what his deal is, which that's fine. And for him to just do that really made me lose a lot of respect for him. I actually went on the attack and I was like, okay, can you please tell me why that is wrong? Because I would really like to know your view and your rationality behind saying that the way that someone presents themselves to the world is wrong when clearly you are not a picture perfect specimen of a masculine man as you were trying to put out there. Um, and he couldn't. He was like, oh, it's just wrong. It's confusing. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. I was like thinking, you're a freaking jerk. Who are you to say who's allowed to do what and who's not allowed to do what? The second one was my friend at work had also stated, um, and I overheard this, that he didn't support gay marriage because of his religious rights. Now, I initially was put on the back foot and I was kind of like, hey, this dude is, is like, I, I lost respect for him for about two seconds because I figured, well, you know what? Like, his religious beliefs are his own, and it's not my thing to uh, say, well, just because his religious beliefs knock on gay marriage that I have to then go, you know what, you're a bad dude. Um, I was thinking, well, that's fine, but um, I don't respect his religious beliefs. So, I mean, like, in that respect, I'm just about as bad as him, but it's not affecting him. So, just the fact that he doesn't religiously or theoretically or whatever um, support gay marriage, I'm okay with that. It's not going to affect our friendship. Um, I just was like a little bit, uh, you know, someone who I thought was an ally who does talk to me a lot about my relationships past and present. Um, just to have him say that and me over here. Initially, I had like a negative reaction, but then I was like, well, you know what? Like if I was to openly speak about the way that I feel about everyone else's religious beliefs, they'd probably feel the same way too. But I think it's just this silent acknowledgement that we don't agree. And that's perfectly fine because like, even though I may not be the one to change his mind because religious beliefs are very deep set and they're very personal, um, he's not actively going out to try and block anything legal being passed. And so I'm okay with that. It does disappoint me a little bit because like it does feel like, you know, I, I feel like, uh, not too sure, but by the same token, he's not like, no, it's wrong, it's, the law shouldn't change, blah, 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 he just religiously doesn't um, accept that, so I'm okay with people not accepting gay marriage, but I do think that it's just, it doesn't make sense to me, and so maybe they're not at that stage of realisation and acceptance um, that they believe the same, I guess. Anyway, I better go because this video is four minutes long. Goodness me, that's really long. Um, but at the moment, I'm just planning to do some more coding because I'm learning how to code iPhone apps. So if you've got any ideas on what you'd like to see on an Exploration B iPhone app, um, please let me know. 
and I'll see if I can edit in. But anyway, um, love to you all and thank you to my new subscribers. They've just flown through and um, I hope to see you all on Facebook because like I do have a lot of good conversations with everyone on there. And until next time, I will um, hope you stay safe. Thank you for watching Exploration B. Thank you for calling Exploration B. I'm not even on the phone. Good night.